Test, test. Yep. Looks like it's working. Ugh. Spin count is not at zero, which is interesting because I haven't moved the headset since I started seeing VR. That's a bit annoying. So... The first thing I'm gonna do is try to get the last achievement. Because that's at the end. So, let's check if that's actually possible. Uh, that way I can skip some of the puzzling. <laughs> I guess I should have moved it. Subject is taking over control of the simulation. If you sink now, you'll risk getting trapped. You think I don't know that? I designed the protocol, lady. I know Sasha Riss. I know how that mind works. Uh... I can regain control. Go to the left behind in the dark. So yeah, I've been reading up a bit on these achievements because there's just you just have that much time for any one game. <laughs> Wonder if this is too far ahead. Uh, use the torch or the flashlight. The weird part is that the teleportation marker is lighting up the environment more than the flashlight is. Yeah. I would advise rolling back the simulation to a stable point. Yeah, I need to go back. Hell, not on my watch. We've never gotten this far. I need you to send me back now. There we go. I lost all contact with the subject. You can't lose this thing now that we're so close. No, no, damn it. And <laughs> uh, I don't know where the camera is, but somewhere around here. <laughs> so when getting out, I was gonna go. Oh, here it's very dark. Give me the flashlight. Apparently, there's supposed to be something here. Um. Oh. Yeah, uh, it's kind of a replacement for the the old map I had. I figured like I wanna I wanted to put like trackers on my feet and show my feet and stuff and like why not just put myself in a camera view instead? It it kind of made sense. So this should be. <laughs> oh, this is a fairly specific. <laughs> specific achievement you get to see all the all the employees I guess that's actual geometry oh okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah so at this point I actually need to start a new game because I need to start from the beginning to get those achievements so to main menu yes Yes, uh, my, my vibe is now retired. <laughs> you demand, you demand an index. Um, load game, empty slot. I don't know if I'm loading something empty. Yeah, it starts the game as well. That's nice. Now I know what this is. I've seen this chamber before. It's a teleportation device. The game has changed, but the match isn't over as long as the pieces are able to move. There's no hand tracking, but it it knows the triggers and the thumb pads. Oh, they don't block the hands, but they block the your vision. Now point farther still, into space. Your code name will be Epsilon. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's just slightly disappointing in the games where you have actual hands. <laughs> Otherwise, I've played a lot of Serious Sam, and in there you only have weapons, you don't have hands. Framerate is keeping up. <laughs> you make it sound like you're a tourist group, Mr. Cold. In a space capsule. We will contact you <laughs> once you've reached your destination, Agent Epsilon. Good luck. 
I can't skip the intro. Terrible. Oh! No, that's the menu. Does it understand the grip? It, it does do the grip. I didn't actually know that. But the thing is, in this game you hold tools the whole time, all of the time, so you don't actually see... You don't have your hands open at any point. Engaging emergency landing protocol. Hurry. Um, these flames look a bit slow for me to be falling through atmosphere, but okay. Oh, um, this looks terrible. Last time the intro ran, I actually had to mess around with my PC, so I hadn't seen that part. <laughs> But from this point on, I will just do things as quickly as I can. Do you copy? Which is now... Chris listening to people teach me how to Epsilon, do stuff. If you can hear me, we need to reboot the suit system. Yes, yes. Look at your hand and press the highlighted button. Please. I have intelligence. I am a smart person, maybe. It's alive? Epsilon, looks like your comm system is down. We can't hear you. I'm gonna need you to give us your location. Look for any signs that might help to pinpoint your position. Yes, yes, I can pinpoint. There you go. So that's what you do in most of the game. You scan stuff. <laughs> like the language index is scan this data disk. The must have gotten damaged. And I'm still locked in place, so I can't I'm rush fine. ahead. Ugh. Tutorials. And got you. Looks like you're pretty close to the facility we're looking for. Listen, you can cycle through the suit's tools linked to your left hand and select yes. the icon for whatever I know, tool you want. I know. Yeah, but flashlight, use the two pair of grippers, and the scanning tool. Use and then the right hand is the for locomotion. Suit's thrusters will do the rest. So... Um, did I actually have to press anything to oh over here? My memory is apparently terrible. Not only to translate text, but to analyze objects as well. There's also smooth locomotion, but it's one directional, but you can aim with your hand. We're inside. Um, Remember that you can check your mission status at any time by tapping the screen icon twice. And of course I know exactly what to do now, so this should be fairly Fairly rapid progression. The gate actually closed again? It didn't do that last time. Huh. Oh, I didn't see this last time. <laughs> I was too slow. This is one of the achievements. So I need to scan this one. Uh, I missed that one last time. So here we go. Now it's all about getting to the next place. And now this is very single player. Otherwise, I would have saved it to play it with someone, you know? Hint, hint. Oh, come on. I'll grab this fuse. And I can teleport down. And this is actually someone needed for this door. And I'm gonna grab this one over here. Um, these are common throughout the game. <laughs> okay, there we go. And it's a fair amount of physical uh, interactions with haptics and stuff, so that's pretty satisfying. I 
haven't gone through this yet. Oh. Lava will pressurize the room. Oh. Usually to beat this you actually read stuff. Well, <laughs> of course this was at the point where you only had abstracted controllers. So as you can see, this handle is actually shaped as the Vibe controller. So in 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 when using the Vibe, it, it should feel like you're holding tools as you're holding the controllers. So at that time, it made sense. Um, then there was like, then this interaction was probably the best one they could imagine. Did I need to do something else? Uh, I can't turn this. What have I missed? Uh. <laughs> yeah, thing is, most companies have probably moved on to other projects at this time. This is a pretty old game that was... I think it might have been Oculus exclusive at first. Oh, I'm stupid. This is what I get for not for not reading anything now. I, I do this all from memory. There we go. I'm turning in the 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 wall. I I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's hard to be confused there and think the whole world is spinning, especially as the friggin' things are moving. Huh. Oh, who knows? Now we're gonna have to Let's find ignore everything. The information we're looking for should be there. Boop. Uh, how do I open this door? This is a bit too far back. I think. Oh yeah, I need the access key. No, I want. Oh, I need the scanner. These are like small details I hardly remember at this point. Code. Now that it's loaded into memory, simply use the scanner to activate it. Uh, there's just a button here. There's no terminal. Oh, there's an elevator. Right, so I'm already traveling down. And that security card is now used when I scan this elevator. Stas, right. I think was his name. This is usually how you get to know things. You the scan this uh, text that looks Russian but no probably isn't. And it says what happened. Uh, Down here there should be a second uh, red painting to scan that I saw last time but I didn't scan it. So, that worked out. <laughs> oh, come on. I should have put this on a different drive. Again. It is a bit weird that you push backwards on the stick to move forwards, but that's how it works. Uh. So yeah, the elevator is most apparently a hidden loading scene. Uh. <laughs> to increase the intensity of light from your flashlight, what was that? The power seems to have been cut, Agent. Creepy sounds. The music is creepy. I think I have anything else okay. to do here except scan this thing. See if I go up here, there's a red king. Yes, yes, missions, missions. Let me scan. There we go. Woohoo! And uh, let's go into the reactor room, I guess. 
think that's this. Let's see if I recall how to do this. <laughs> that would be interesting. Um, I need power up first. I think that's over here. It's just about turning things on, basically. Oh, come on. There we go. And there's one over here. Ugh. That turns on this whole thing over here. And, uh, oh, I need this paper. <laughs> I don't know if this is uh, randomized or not. It appears identical to before. So, do 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 That reboots the reactor system, or whatever this is. Well, that turns on every PC in here. That's a data disk. I don't think I, I... I've already scanned all of these in the previous games, it's probably not necessary. Oh, the saving game. It's, uh, it's a bit weird. It, sh it could have vibrated my terminal and shown that it's saving here. But whatever, I guess it works. It's been a slightly annoying when trying to take screenshots. <laughs> so I need to go with a, uh, I don't, well, an elevator or whatever inside the reactor. So I'm gonna take these capacitors and repair some circuit boards. Uh, I need the last type. Can actually bring two. Let's grab one of these. So the first one is oh, according to this manual, um, which is upside. No, is it upside down? I don't know. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. Uh. Oh, really? Would be interesting to see people actually speedrun this. Oh, why? The controllers interact physically, even if you don't use the buttons, which can be a bit frustrating. Only slightly frustrating. Let's use my hands. Let's hope that is correct. Uh, that one. And <laughs> I've never felt more clumsy. That wasn't the combination, so let's switch these out. There we go. And uh, that goes in here, and now we'll grab the other one. And this one is actually different, it has it printed on the bottom, which you see the red ones over there. And this is. That one. that one. That one. Maybe both has it on the bottom. I never checked. Maybe I should have. Well, this enables the whatever it's called. Saving game. Obviously, this will spoil the whole game, but you're here on your own risk. It's mostly a puzzle game, so. That's how things work. <laughs> That's why you can actually go through it quickly to get achievements. There's not that many other genres that you can do it quicker than playing it the first time. Have seen better days. Radiation level readings from your suit are pretty Let's high. Let's see. Use caution when bringing this is all about on. navigation. Oh, we have a platform there, there, and there. This is about leading pressure to the right place. Let's open the big wall valves. And then I need one, two, three, as usual. And this one gives two, so let's, let's open it. And now I need one, which is this one. Uh, mm. Where does it go? It goes down here. Maybe this one 
Oh yeah, this is a main one because it was at zero, so there we go. Now it's in green, which enables this handle. Oop. Uh, this is a very simple uh, pump mechanism. Get it in the green and you're good to go. <laughs> I lost it. There we go. And if we, oh, in the middle here, you can see I've done two out of four. Uh, these are just reverse numbers. <laughs> And it's symmetrical, so this is actually the <laughs> pretty much the same station. Oops. There we go. Oh, was this too tight? <laughs> it was in the green, but apparently... Close is not... An, or it was... Inside the green, but it wasn't wasn't approved. Let's turn all of these on. I don't even know if the maybe the big ones are optional, but I I've just done them all, or every time. One more. Uh, this one. Whoops. Yeah, that works. Zip. And now this should let me... Uh, can I go up? No. <laughs> where's the... Where's the go up point? Let's go higher. Oh, I can just teleport straight? No. This is even higher. There we go. So well, now we have a handle on top of the reactor. Stas Volkov kept up with his maintenance work. I... I hope the place doesn't explode. I should take some more screenshots. Uh-oh. -uh. Loading. What happened? Epsilon. Everything alright? I'm, I'm losing... I'm losing the connection. Epsilon! I can see light outside the... Perimeter. <laughs> it's not. It's not the hiding everything. Yeah. So that's freaky. Um. Basically, I can't do anything about that, dude. But let's go inside. Let's go up. Do you think the man will still be here, the cosmonaut? Nope! But there's something else. This is a uh, worm gate, basically. Oh, please let me go. And uh, no, I'm not stopping to watch. The oh, do I need to do this? Uh. I guess I'm locked in. Let's see if we can do this quickly as well. This is basically just... Uh, this is the loyalty room. Where you teach... Oh, I actually need to read it? Ah. Uh, well, I guess... Maybe I don't. Music, music. Let's just press the right button every time. Bring the scanner out and scan this just in case we actually have to read it. How are you feeling today? And if I read this... Oh, I need to read the screen. Well done. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, I guess this is also pretty efficient. B. 
being a very well programmed employee at this point. These are AI orbs that observe you and uh, print out notes for you to read. <laughs> that's is it done yeah we're in the security room now all right this piece of crap insert the code the code is on the back of this card let's grab the grabber <laughs> which is up and which is down oh crap let's just scan it this is easier because then the um, information actually shows up on your screen so one and it did two because if you push it through you do another one when you push the controller back <laughs> i did that multiple times last time as well no, I put. <laughs> that was wrong. One, four, C, six. Uh, I guess it's this one. Did I miss one? Stupid piece of crap. One. Oh, it doesn't take the first one if I'm too fast. Okay. Four. No, I didn't do two of them. Ugh. Some things are quite annoying. Wait. Can, can I make that, this into a point? Maybe this works better. Well done, there we go. We can patch into Ugh. The did this start this machine? I need to scan this. Booting up security system. Press the button to initiate. There we go. Now you'll we'll get instructions here. Move data bank four to position two. So that is four there to two there. Then you get a new instruction. Surveillance mode. Oh crap. Um, I think it's one of these. You have a. Uh, uh, it's, uh, then it's over here. You have a certain amount of time for this. It's this one. There we go. Move data bank two to position one. So that's if you do any one error here, you're screwed and need to restart. Arithmetical logical unit to compute. Uh, it's over here. Okay. Just hold that one. No, this one. Compute. Boop. Sequence. Is it? So it was that one. Yeah. Okay, that was an easy one. Same station. Very many data banks. Bank three to two. Good. Enter the vault and find those. Dogs. Really? I didn't get any of those or those. Well, okay. <laughs> Took more effort last time. It's still asking me to... <laughs> no, that's just the last thing I did. So, this is an interesting puzzle that I see... I saw posts on the thread about it. Or threads on the forums about it. People having problems, but I figured it out pretty quickly. Let's scan it because that's easy to read. Yeah, there we go. So it's basically a, a range of numbers in a sequence. And uh, seven. Then there's the other one. It's four, six, eight, zero. So it goes to two. Six, seven, eight, nine. So zero. zero. Yeah. Eight, seven, six, five, four. 
and that's it. Damn it. And we have there. the security boss's access card here. There we go. Let's do the next data disk. <laughs> you get to see it. Yeah, that was it. Um, right, now I can uh, scan to get out of here. Because I have the security clearance. <sighs> this is very nice and organic design, I think. Uh, if my memory is correct, I need to go back into the elevator. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. It's weird that I have a circular reflection, but the ceiling is all square, square lights. I'm not sure what's up with that. It's a bit weird. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> now I should be coming down to the habitat. Where I can go through everyone's personal belongings. And here I need to... Uh, I need to look at the... Uh, videotape. Yeah. It's pretty interesting uh, interiors here. With glowing flowers in the ceiling and some red goopy goop. And this is... Uh, you actually walk around inside there. Uh, that's the inside of the habitat. I recognize it now when I've been there. <laughs> it's pretty neat. This is more exploration, so let's see how quickly I can go through this. It's also a bit spooky. I got the goosebumps here last time. Uh, <laughs> so this is... I can go into two, the two rooms that I have keys for. And one is Nikolai's room, which is here. As I played this game the last two days, I have like... Pretty good... Oh, this is not... This is Stas' room, sorry. My mistake. This is the videotape I need, so good stuff. And this is a portal. <laughs> So let's bring this over to, I guess, Nikolai. It's symmetrical, so excuse it. Excuse my mistake. <laughs> there we go. Mystery tape. Oh, it was the wrong one. Here, here we go. Ball. So I don't think there's anything. Oh, right. This is a puzzle that you need to get... You need to bring that statue outside to see an order. Um, if I remember this... Which is the last one? That's what I don't remember. Crap. No... Is it... Is, is order two? Oh wait, it, it's probably this... this... this? No! <laughs> Crap. Oh, there we go. No, I haven't played this before. Not at all. This is the video player. Just plug it in. Who are we? That is weird because it's inside the TV, but it's reacting to where I'm looking at it. So it's not a video. <laughs> that is... Uh, funky um, otherwise it acts as a uh, standard TV this is as you can see it's physically a sphere inside the TV <laughs> if you put this in whoop, the right way it's just the video yeah enough with that I don't think there's much to do in here except of course, you can read and stuff and look at the cameras and crap if you're playing this for real, but now I'm just rushing. 
So what's floating over there is a security card. I need to be outside. There we go. So I can scan it. And then I go out again. It's incredible how much time I spent here last time and now I'm just rushing. As I mentioned. It feels... Feels bad. <laughs> feels like I'm skipping everything. And this is one of the spooky parts. They lock you in and everything is floating around. Um, oh, right. Oh, crap. I know I struggled a bit with this. Not sure what's going on, but something down there is blocking uh, the signal. Be careful, Epsilon. All these uh, trophies have... Yeah. have numbers on them. Oh, come on. And there's three ones. Oh, yeah, the mistake I did was I thought that was zero, but it's eight. So it's three, one, eight. Three, one, eight. Whoa. And let's bring, bring the chess piece. Uh... Over here. I know in the gallery too, they also have an achievement that is beat the game in a certain amount of time. That would have been a nice one to have here because I'm running into the wrong room. Because um, as with any puzzle game, you can do it quickly, as I mentioned before. So it would be a, a f suitable challenge. I should just have one achievement left now. So I don't actually need to clear the game. <laughs> oh, please. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. These portals Thank God you're back. let you go to places that were otherwise inaccessible. We can't assist you if you're out of range. So now I'm in the quantum lab or just outside it. And the last achievement should actually be in here. So this is the last king. Scanning this should be game completed. Achievement unlocked. Let's check just in case so I haven't uh yeah 20 out of 20. that was quicker than i thought only 40 minutes <laughs> i uh set aside like two hours for this but i guess it wasn't that bad <laughs> um which other game should i start next because usually I do achievements to revisit a game with nice scenery and stuff. And now that's all done. Um, I think this one is made by the people that made uh, the Adventure Time game. It's only 250 megs? Well, let's sound of that. Let's quit. I need to quit this game first. Uh... Menu... Uh, I think it's saved recently, not that I care now, but... Two main menu, yes. Ugh. It's nice that they have save slots at all, because many games don't. There we go. I'm gonna split the recording. I have a button for that.